All right, I want to talk about section 9.14 today. It's called Area of Composite Shapes Involving Triangles. And the word, the key word here that we're going to be looking at is this composite. And that means made up of multiple things. Made up of multiple, multiple things. So in this section, we're going to look at when we're finding the area of not just a clear parallelogram or a triangle, but instead when they are combined. Let's take a look at a, this first example. And we have like the side of a barn here. The side of a barn kind of looks like this right here. From here to here is about 7.5 feet. From here to here is six feet, and from here to here is four feet. Oops, wrong color. That's okay. Still works. The question is, what is the total area? <clears throat> well, all that we're going to be doing in this section is we're going to be finding shapes like this, and we're going to be breaking them up into their, then their into their smaller pieces. So, for example, here I can see that I can just draw a dotted line over. And now I have a triangle and a rectangle. Almost a square, but not quite. And to, d to get my total area, my area total, I'm going to add up my area of my all my pieces. So, in this case, my area, my area total is going to be my area of the triangle plus the area of my rectangle. And this is going to give me my total area that I find. So in this case, I'm just going to add up all the things that I can find. So my first thing is I have my area of my rectangle. Area of a rectangle is... Area of a rectangle is length times width. And that's easy in this case. It's 6 times 7.5. So I can put that in for my area of a rectangle. 6... Oops, times 7.5. Mm, that looks terrible. I'm going to try that again. It looks like 6 times 7.5. My area of my triangle, well, if I recall, my area of a triangle is equal to 1 half base times height. Well, in this case, I can clearly see that I have my height of my triangle, but my base is a little bit trickier. But I notice that this line here is going to be the same length as the line below it. So in case, in fact, this is also 6 feet, because a rectangle has both sides opposite. So my area in this case is going to be simply 1 half times base times 6 times my height of 4. And I can just add that in to get my total area. So now I have 1 half times 6 times 4 plus 6 times 7.5. Let me load up my calculator. And we'll see what we can get when we are finding this out. Okay, this one I should be able to do in my head. <clears throat> 6 times 4 is 24 mm -hmm. times a half is 12. 6 times 7.5, 6 times 7.5 is 45. Add these together and I have 30, oops, 57. And recall that I'm going to be adding in my units. And in this case, my units are, I have 57 square feet. Let's take a look at one more example, but... I don't anticipate this section being very hard. The biggest thing that you need to remember is we're just going to be breaking them up into the smaller pieces and then figuring out what we need to do at that point. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this shape. Oops. In this case, we are going to divide this shape up into shapes that we can actually 
uh, find the area for. So what we need to do in this case is we're going to figure out a couple of things. <clears throat> First, I don't know the area of this whole shape, so I'm going to divide it up into some pre and just some composite shapes. If I decide to cut it like this, I can clearly see that I have a triangle, I have a rectangle, and another triangle. But the question is, do I have all the measurements that I need to get this done? Well, let's take a look. If I have this triangle right here, I certainly know that its height, I have its height of 5 inches, but in this case I don't have the base that I can work with, unfortunately. If I look over at this triangle, I can see that um, I don't have any information about it, aside from it's part of this, but it is the same as this 5 inch height right there. So I actually can figure this out. One of the interesting things though is that I can say, hey, I know that both of these triangles here are equal because of the shape and how it's built. So I can figure out the base based on that. The way that I can do this is I can say, well, this right here is 9 inches. That means I know this right here is also 9 inches. That means the space left over on each side is going to be the, a total of whatever's left. So I can say that the total is, I can do 22 minus 9, and that's going to be 12, right? Yeah. So there's 12 inches between this side and this side over here. And since I know that they're going to be equal, that they're equal triangles, now I didn't draw them as beautiful as I should have, but they're supposed to be equal. I know that I'm going to have 6 inches on each of these sides, based on the shape of this. Now I have enough data and enough information that I can find out all of the pieces and I can add them all up. So my triangle right here is going to be my area of my triangle plus my area of my other triangle plus my area of my rectangle. My area of my triangle here is, oops, my area of my triangle is going to be base 6 times 5 times 1 half plus the area of my other triangle, which is going to be the same thing, 6 inches times 5 inches times one half, I keep forgetting that one half, doesn't actually matter what order I multiply them in, right? And my rectangle, I have nine times five, because my rectangle is gonna be length times width, and that's gonna give me nine times five, this should be a plus. Man, making all sorts of mistakes, sorry. Six times five is 30, times a half is gonna be 15. 15 plus 15 plus nine times five is 45. This is gonna be 30 plus 45, and that is 75. Now I need my units. I am in inches, and since I'm in area, I am going to need to remember to put the correct area in. Let me take a look at some of the problems that we have and see if there's anything else that I need to cover. The problems are going to give you um, examples, and those examples are not going to be pictures. So I recommend drawing them out if you're having trouble understanding them. If you're not, then go ahead and work with them as you've got. But you should be able to get this pretty well and pretty easily. All right, good luck.